All right, welcome back to another Mycroft Soundbites. Uh, today we're going to look at the Mycroft Skills Manager, or MSM as it's called for short. Uh, I'm Gez. I'm Stratus. Yeah, let's jump straight into it. So MSM is a tool for managing skills, as, it, as the name suggests. Um, so the, there's, we're just going to quickly go through the, the basic functions of it. Um, so maybe let's just jump straight to the command line. So we are in the command line, and if we type Minecraft dash MSM uh, dash H, we'll, we should be able to see everything that we can do with MSM. Uh, so yeah, the, the number one thing that most people will be doing is is installing a skill. So if we did Microf dash MSM install, we can then pass um, the name of any skill. And it doesn't have to be an exact match either. It's, it's going to do some fuzzy matching for us. So um, what's a skill that we know about? What about stocks? Yeah, sure. So it's building an entry. It's found a best match, which is Microf dash stock. Now that we know that there's Microf stock, we can do a, uh, a Micro MSM install Microf stock. Um, and that's obviously going to have a much higher confidence match. Um, and we'll try and install it. This one's already installed, so that one doesn't count. But um, so yeah, we can use the name of the skill. We can also, if there's multiple skills um, that have similar names, we can also use the author. Um, so we could say Microsoft msm install cocktails and then space the author. So in this case, F-O-R-S-L-N-E-U-N-D. Um, and so that's going to look for cocktails, but only if they're authored by Forceland. If we're not really sure about what's out there, we can do a MSM list. So MSM list gives us a, a big long list of, of things, but if we want to um, we want to narrow that down a little bit, we can do a Microsoft MSM search. Let's look for something like volume. Yeah. So see what, what skills are out there that do something with our volume. So here we can see we have Microsoft dash volume. So that's the, the official one that, you know, changes your actual volume. And then there's auto volume by Andlo, uh, which, listens to the to the world outside and changes your tries to modify your volume automatically based on the environment around your device um, so that's a cool one we can remove a skill so msm uh, remove and then uh, we can use the same parameters as install so we can either just specify a name we can also do a um, an update so microsoft msm update uh, and if we do a specific package, uh, a specific skill name, uh, then it will only update that skill. So our home assistant skill, because in our other videos, we've been editing the skill locally on, on this machine. Uh, it's saying that there have been changes here. They've not been committed to the Git repository. And so it uh, it's not going to automatically update that skill. Um, and so that's specifically in there so that we don't you know, blow away the work of developers. Um, you know, you, you put a lot of time and effort into the code you put in there. We don't want to just like, you know, go and overwrite those changes. So uh, it does mean that anytime you edit a skill on your device, MSM is not going to update it um, automatically. And so we can go in there and, and stash those changes and then it'll work. But um, for the moment, it, it just plays it safe. Yeah, and then the other thing we could do is a, an MSM update with no skill after it and that's going to go through every every skill on the device and update them one by one uh the final one that, that i'd mention is you can uh, delete all of your skills and then run msm default what that will do is install the default skills for your machine so you can run it now it probably won't install anything because you, you know we haven't removed anything you can also uh you can blacklist a skill so imagine you um you really don't want the mycroft weather skill you can add mycroft weather to your um to your blacklist blacklisted skills list in in your mycroft configuration 
And then when you run MSM default, it will it, it does check that blacklist and, and sees that this skill should not be installed. And so it doesn't do that. One of the things that I note there is I blacklist things to make my startup time faster. So for example, you said the weather, but more appropriately, I'm not going to check the stocks. Like there's a bunch of stuff like Minecraft singing, the stock, um, you know, a, a bunch of different things of that nature. I just end up blacklisting them all. Um, and that way, mm. Mycroft doesn't have to worry about loading them and the system comes back up much more quickly. And I do that I do that a lot when I'm devving, a lot. Like I'll just go through and mm. blacklist a bunch of the things because that way I just get at the skills that I need to load to test this with. Is there anything else you want to cover with the uh, MSM here? Uh, I don't think so. I think... I think we've covered everything. Um, there's there's more information in the documentation, so, so jump on docs.microft.ai if you uh, if you want to learn more. So we talked today about MSN and how we use this as a, a package manager to maintain the skills that Microft uh, ingests and and makes your system functional. And it does all the things that a normal package manager does. You know, it lists, removes, updates, and so on. If you need additional information, you can hit up the, the help documentation or you can go to the, the docs.mycroft.ai and look out there. Or, you know, if you run into even more trouble, there's a bunch of people around at uh, chat.mycroft.ai that are willing to sit down and help you. Yeah, definitely. Come join us in the in Microsoft chat or in the forums. I think that's it for today. So, Absolutely. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Until next time. Bye. Bye.